Hello everybody and welcome back to Dragon Quest 11. This is Act 3, part only you will know. And we are at the Strand and what is that that I see in the distance? Is that a mermaid? Is that Michelle? Is Michelle alive? For goodness sake! I'll be so happy game. So I'm hoping that is Michelle and that she's alive. It does seem to be her. I'm pushing it to Sparky though because I'm addicted to Sparky's. What can I say? I've mentioned this 8 trillion times. Uh, Michelle dies before you go, before Idris of Falls. So I'm very confused. She's not supposed to be alive. She doesn't die after Idris of Falls. She dies before Idris of Falls. So I'm not sure how the time line works here. This is a bit odd. Thanks so much for bringing me my darling special veil. I'm praying for my Kai to come so far to no avail. Since you said that he was coming, I've been here all alone. I've waited and waited, but my darling hasn't shown. I miss him, how I miss him, but I'm sure he has his reasons. Perhaps he had to stick around for one last fishing season. That's it, he'll never leave his fellow fishes high and dry. He's such a little softy, but that's why I love my Kai. Don't worry about me, I won't be lonely on my own. As long as Kai is in my heart, I'll never be alone. What? I'm very confused. M she died, guys. I, I hate it. I really, really don't. I really do not like that. But she died way before he just so far. But, I guess that's that. So that's the strand for you guys. We are completed. As I mentioned in this episode, we're going to go into every single island. The first island I go to, I will show the entire trip to the island. And then, from every island after that, I will be fast forwarding through it. And we'll be doing all the islands and Nautica this episode. And Nautica this episode. So, we're doing all the islands and Nautica. This all will be done in one episode with Lone and Lulu. So, it's every island, it's Nautica, and it's Lone and Lulu. So, without further ado, let's pull up the map. As you can see, there are anchors at every island. One at the bottom, two, three, four, five, six, seven islands of concrete. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then of course, and Lonelu. So there's going to be nine locations we're going to this episode. Nine locations, guys. So I hope you guys are ready for it. It's going to be a little bit on the longer side, but I want to do this all in one go and get it done because this is kind of awkward. So for the first one I mentioned, I'll go to it, but I'll actually go to it right now on camera and I'll show you how I get there. But every other one, I'm just going to fast teleport there and then I'll put up the map before I enter and show you exactly where we are. So you guys can, I'm going to do it in order to uh, how I like to count them because I think it's easier. So that's the strand. So Michelle's alive, guys. That is amazing. So everyone that died, Princess Miko, uh, Grandmaster Pang, Michelle, all my all my ladies that died that upset me, broke my heart, uh, are back. So I'm going to pull up the map, like I said, island number one. A malicious Squid King draws near while I'm trying to board an island. You have made a great mistake, Mr. Delicious King. A great mistake. <laughs> I was trying to shuffle the islands! And you showed up, Malicious King. You think you're so tough? A little girl just kicked your ass, dude. Okay, I think the problem is because I exited it. It messed up the thing, so let's just back up a bit and attempt to. This book here? Yes, please. So this is island number one. Uh, on my count, I'm probably not counting correctly. I'm sure there's a proper way to count these islands in order that I don't do correctly. But in my opinion, this is the island number. Insula, Insula Occidentalis. That is the first island. We'll be killing every enemy here and getting... Um, all these sparklies because that's what I do. That's what I do. Um, not that I think it'll be too difficult, but there is a silver door here because on my little notes, I have it in Insula Occidentalist as a silver door. So it's actually the main reason we're going to these areas is just to get all the silver doors and stuff. But killing the enemies on the, along the way is a bonus. So what is this enemy? A frantical a malicious spiker. I don't think I've fought you guys before, but it's okay. I'll make you all fall in love with me. Oh, I, I made one of you fall in love with me. So I'd like Jade to level up really badly so she can get all the mana back. <laughs> That'll be a very useful game. 
Oh, you are still alive? I am actually so impressed. Congratulations, you just survived a pep, a pepped power um, attack from Jade, as well as a Giga Slash from a main character, and two Kick Cracks from Veronica. That is very. Oh my goodness, 9,000 experience. And there's my Jade level up, like I asked for. Oh my word, game. It's like it's meant to be. So sweet, let's go and killing people. That's what we do. That's a lot of Orc Chieftains, boys and girls. That's a lot of Orc Chieftains. But Jade don't care, she'll vampire them all, baby. Love Jade, love her. Listen to me and love Jade. Why are they moving on so much? That's a bit weird. <laughs> Look at that running like that. And they all did. Never mind. Veronica's too strong, guys. What? 11,000 experience? What the F? Is this where I should down. grind now, apparently? Oh my word. That's some good experience, boys and girls. That's some good quality experience. Anyway. Uh, next, Zwakli is right here. Hello, I'm here. Is that it? When my Pai crew gave me the old heave ho and dumped me here, I had so much hate in my heart. It was the solicitor who made me see the lights. He used to spend all day staying out to see, think of home. I shouldn't wonder. Okay. Oh, wait, I don't need to race. I just got all my envy back. I can race on my end character. Why not? Race until morning. I like exploring during the day anyway, more than I like exploring during the evening. Just my own personal preference. I don't think there's any benefit to exploring in the day versus exploring in the evening. I think actually if you explore in the evening, you get stronger enemies, so you get more experience. So technically speaking, exploring in the evening would be the better option for leveling up, etc, etc. But since I don't care about leveling up, because, I mean, let's be honest with you, I'm almost max level already and I haven't even been trying. Um, so got, oh my god, it's a golden bunny, and it's like 24 carat bunny, what, what, I've literally never seen a 24 carat bunny in my entire gaming career of Dragon Quest XI, and I'm 150 episodes in. 140 hours into the game, and I just encountered my first 24 karat bunny. The Hello. Wins again. The experience was a joke, but dude, that's so cool. Are you the same? Are you the same orc? Are you the orc chieftain? You just look different in the daytime. It is orc chieftain. So I'll skip this fight. But man, I can't believe that 24 karat bunny, dude. That's my first time ever encountering a golden bunny. I've never encountered a golden bunny, but I didn't even know. I literally didn't even know there were golden bunnies. I'll fight you one more time, dude. Mr. Lion Boy. A fancy call. You look like you're a badass, but you're not really a badass. You're just a normal ass. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. If this echoes, you are done, dude. You are absolutely done, Dustin. So I'm very worried about the length of this episode. As I'm recording more and more of this, I'm actually starting to get a lot, very, very worried about the length because, as I mentioned, we got to go to like seven islands, Lonolulu and Nordica, all in one episode. That might be a bit much. I might put Lonolulu. We got a Metal King armor. That is Metal King armor. 126. My defense skyrockets, dude. Owens, how are you better than... Oh, I don't have a... I've only got liquid. I don't have a metal. I thought I had a metal king helmet. Don't I have a metal king helmet? It's probably on someone else. Liquid. Oh, no. I had a metal king jacket. But I don't have another metal king helmet. Okay. I don't really care about wearing my dad's armor. It actually irritates me. It makes a lot of clinky clanky noises. Anyway, so we did everything here. We got the silver door here, which I need to tick off on my list of doors uh, in the... Insular Occidentalist. Our next um, silver door is in the Insular Orientalis, which is on the west side of the map. So we'll be going there now. For now, I'll meet you at um, island number two. Uh, I'll cut until I'm there. See you soon. And here we are at island number two on our map. Um, I'm not sure what this one's called, but I do know this is my route I take island number two. I do like a nice circle around the entire map going to all the areas and then I do a quick teleport to the next area so it's very um it's very like standard it's insular algorithm now this one's all the sparklies that you have to fly to in Lord Dragon which I hate doing 
But I will be doing this episode because I don't know if there's new stuff. New stuff. The dulcet dulc that is bounds around this island is highly sought after by the daughters of the water. It cures sore throats as fast as lightning. It's almost frightening. It'd be a good thing, but when those sirens start singing, they won't stop till your ears are ringing. Bro, ha 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 ha. Yeah. So we'll quickly, quickly do an exploration on this area. I'm not going to spend too much time here. I'm just going to get in, get the items, get the flying dragon, fly around with the flying dragon, look if there's anything new. If there is, get it. If there isn't, get out. It's going to be quick, easy, and simple. The way I like it, baby. The way I like it. Um, don't have to spend too much time here. We do have new enemy types, though. The malicious crows, which I think we did fight in the... Um, in the Heliodor region outside Cobblestone, and then we have our malicious Dracolites, which I have not fought yet. But regardless of what they are, Kabumo. You can be as strong as you want to be, you can be as bad as you want to be. My Veronica, she'll Kabumo you. And don't come back! The thing is, what you need to understand, and it's very important, is you, you, you physically cannot fight Veronica. Okay? Veronica is broken, absolutely broken. I mean, Serenica was broken, and Serenica is just the fusion of Serena and Veronica. And thus, Veronica is broken. Now, of course, as I have mentioned at nauseam, I'm sure all of you are sick of hearing by now. Give me Serenica back! I know technically her name was just Serena, and she was just Serena with Veronica's spouse, but if you take Serena and you add Veronica's spouse to it, so you're adding Veronica to Serena. Technically, you're adding Serena and Veronica together. If you add Serena and Veronica together, what does that equal? Serenica. I watch Dragon Ball Z, okay? I know how the naming system works. Vegeta, Vegito, Gogeta. It's all about the naming system, baby. You gotta just take one half of a name and the other half of a name, fuse it together into a new name, and boom, bam, beam, we all win, and that's the end of the game. Right? That's how that works, guys? Sure? Is that how that works? Do I understand correctly? Okay, where are the flying dragons that I can use? I don't see any flying dragons, guys. Oh, there he is. What is happening right now? I'm trying to pick up these these sparkly spots, but instead I'm fighting malicious enemies. Not part of my game plan. I had a game plan, guys. So skip. Score one for the good guys. Got him. So I'm gonna be killing this last uh, Elysium birds. I'm gonna be fighting that dragon to use the dragon for the flying mood. And then I'm going to be flying around the entirety of the map. While I'm flying around the map, because I've done it three times on camera, two to three times on camera, I am going to be fast forwarding it. So I'm going to be using the fast forward function just to fast forward it to go faster. Um, so it's just not uh, me flying around the same area again for the third time in one play, but I don't think that's necessary. So I'm going to fast forward this quite heavily. I think I'll even up to two times speed this just to make it go even faster. If I see something new, I will of course slow it back down. Show off the new content and then continue on with the uh, fast forward until we finish this area. Um, but I'm just letting you guys know because Victory. as soon as I get in the area here, it is going to fast forward. So it's going to fast forward now. So the reason I'm not speaking a lot right now is because, well, two reasons. A, it's going to um, be chipmunk. I'm sure you guys have heard enough chipmunk in your life. So nothing to hear more chipmunk. I mean, other than this one was surprisingly popular, considering it was super creepy and I did not enjoy it at all. But I do then, and I think they made spin-off sequel episodes, so I think people must have really enjoyed it. Um, right now I am a chipmunk, because I'm just doing stuff already done, nothing new. But, you know, I'm trying my best to do this as quick as possible, because, as I mentioned, seven islands, Lona Lulu, and of course, last but certainly not, wait, there's a spot over here. I messed up, there it is. Um, and certainly not, last but not least, Nordica, so we're going to be doing the entire ocean basically. So that's, that's a lot of exploration to do and a lot of work doing this one episode, so we do need to move, and that is why of course I've chosen to make this two times speed. Just to get it done a little bit. So we're going to quickly descend here, get this, beautiful. And there's a chest up there with nothing else. Quickly, quickly doing this as fast as humanly possible, while still keeping a decent eye out for items so I don't miss anything in my rush. Because that would be the worst. If I miss something because I was rushing, I need to be told by a comment or a viewer that I had missed that, I would be inconsolable. Inconsolable. The last spot here, if I'm quickly. It's always a hard one here for some reason. There we go. And if you look on that, we're all please. I don't see anything else. I'm going to do one quick sweep while this is at Tito's feet. Just through this little canyon over here to look if there's maybe any secret under the bridge type entrances of any kind. It does not seem like this is the case. Oh, I thought there was an entrance. I was actually right. Oh my goodness. There really was one, but no, there wasn't. Okay, sweet. So let's go land our little dragon friend and then we will be heading to the boat. So we're going to head to the next of the seven islands. You can always call them the seven deadly islands. <laughs> I was just a bad 737 shot. I hope you guys will forgive me. Continue supporting my channel. So there you guys had it. A little bit of fast forward exploration there with a little bit of the chipmunk knee. Uh, Go to get it done. Well, I'll meet you all at island number three. And we will carry on with this exploration.
A Squidzilla? The fuck is a Squidzilla, dude? I've never encountered a Squidzilla before in my life. What is this shit? Murder the Squidzilla. Oh, he has limbs. Oopsie. Oopsie. We made an oopsie, guys. The Squidzilla. It's like Godzilla, but a squid. Oh, I love it. I love it when Veronica echoes, guys. It just feels so good. It feels good. La da 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 da. I knew that it would now. Bam, nah, nah, nah. Feels good when she uses her abilities. Okay, uh, let's use a hot lick. Excuse me. Oh, that did very lot of damage. I regret tremendously using hot lick. This could still hurt me. This could still hurt me a second time. That was not part of the plan. Fiery Fandango him, Temper Tantrum him, Shock Tactics him, Sort of Sucker him. Uh, let's use Temper Tantrum. Because I think last time we had to kill a Squidzilla with Temper Oh, not a Squidzilla. I think it was the other one. Um, a, uh, one of them. We had to kill one of them to get like a quest item with it by doing that. I thought maybe, maybe we can get another one, but no. Anyway, back to the island. And here we are at island number three. I can once again not remember its name because I've got a horrible memory. I'm sorry, okay. Uh, but this is island number three. Let's go to it and find out. We will find out together what the name is. This one is the one that has the dude that is forever fishing. <laughs> forever fishing. That's all he does. He just fishes for the rest of his eternal life. But that's okay. You know, to each your own. If you want to fish, go, go for it. So we'll do the normal run around, kill everything. Get all the sparkly spots because... Let's be very honest here. I've got a problem, man. I've got an actual problem when it comes to sparkly spots, dude. Like, I need to seek help. I, I need I need help. I need you all to go to my support groups with all three of them that are in the description below. And you need to donate all the money to help me get help to solve my problem with sparkies. Now, obviously, I do not have a support anything on my channel, so I'm just joking. Um, and you do not need to worry about it, guys. Do that, that one shot. Well, that was easy. A new enemy type got one shot at? Excuse me, game? Am I overpowered? Is that the problem? I, I, I get the distinct feeling. I might, maybe, just slightly, possibly be over level. Which is making this a lot easier, of course. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. If I can just go kaboomo with Veronica every time I wanna get rid of enemies, that's a bonus. And I enjoy that tremendously, so. Thank you very much, game, for making my life super easy. I appreciate it. We did it, darling! Uh, getting decent, decent experience here, so that's not too bad. Lots of noise coming through from the outside. I once again apologize if you are hearing that right now. But uh, I have no control over what my neighbors do, unfortunately. Now, without further ado, let's get into this. This is Insula Borealis. Borealis, isn't that like... You know what Borealis reminds me of? Angel. Whenever I hear Borealis, I think of the main character, the guy who plays Angel. I think, I think his surname is Boyanis or something, but I can never pronounce it anyway, so that's pretty much, I'm as, that's as close as I'm ever going to get when it comes to pronouncing that guy's surname. I need to make that very clear. Um, I actually happened to, and I was a, not even a kid, not even a kid, even still till today. Angel and Buffy the Vampires are like two of the best series I've ever watched, man. I think it's like that whole, it's like My Generation series, like the series of My Generation. Like you always hear things like Modern Family and like, um... What's the other one? That 70s show and all those things. And it's always like, they are the best shows ever. But I think it falls into generation. And I think um, Buffy the Ampersand Angel, they just happen to fall into my generation. You gave the scruffy ocean to the minister? Thanks, World Waker. I'm going to stay here a little longer and try to catch some more. Then I'll load them into the longboat and be back for supper. Oh, wait. Just FYI, I gave the scruffy urchin to the minister after the world collapsed, after Egg Jostle fell. Eggsdressel did not fall, which means I had never been here, which means I had never got the Scruffy Urchin from you, which means I had never given the Scruffy Urchin to the Minister, which means this scene should not be able to happen. Without further ado, that's going to be Insta Boria this done. Very quick, very easy, very nice. We'll be heading to item number four, the... I actually do know this one. I Insula Orientalis, because there's a silver door there waiting for us, baby. And I want it. And here we are at island number four, the Oriental, uh, the Insula Orientalis, if I remember correctly. Hopefully I do, I'm gonna look really stupid, but I'm pretty sure this is uh, the Insula Orientalis where there is the silver door awaiting us. And we are hoping for more Metal King armor, baby, I'm not gonna lie to you. This Metal King armor's been sexy. Yes, I got it right, for the first time in my entire human life. I have officially grown as a human being. To fight this innocent looking heel slime. 
Hill Slime. I apologize for getting your name incorrect, Mr. Hill Slime. I mean, Kill Slime. I did it again. Sorry for that. It don't matter. The Kill Slimes are defeated. So I ran out of uh, MP with Veronica while I was killing monsters on the ocean, getting to this, getting to this island, excuse me? Oh, yeah. it's, I always think it's here, but it's not, it's actually here. But they put it, they, they map it in a way you'd think it would be there, and it's not there. Which I'm not sure if it's done deliberately, but, oh no! Hey. But if it's done uh, intentionally, well done, well done. Train Chris, you get me every time, you get me every time. Which is impressive, I have to admit, like, the fact that you get me every time with that same trick. Either I am a retard, which is probably the case, or you are a genius. So, I'm gonna rather choose to be you guys are geniuses, and that way I feel better about myself. So these are malicious sea slimes, which makes me very happy. Whenever I see a malicious enemy, I know I'm on the right track. It's just kind of like a little note you can make, like, is the next enemy set the upgraded version, or is it the basic version? If it's the basic version, you're probably not going in the right place. If it's the upgraded version, you probably are going in the right place. It's a very simple system, but it's effective. Malicious or non-malicious? She slimes. She slimes, she slows by the she is that how that is that how that goes, guys? I'm just gonna be honest with you. I get the feeling that might not be how that goes. The room will cost 60 mana. I did not actually know that. <laughs> I now know why my Veronica ran out of mana so quickly. I was spamming Kabumo. That's because it's so easy, guys. You just hit Kabumo, it hits all the enemy types. It's really good. Okay, so I fought a She Slime, so I need to fight one of these Bulbs, right? Hello, Bulbs. I know you guys are malicious. With a bunch of male slimes that we don't really care about at all. Uh, I'll just Giga Slash this. It will still do one damage at least. Twice. But it does still do one damage, but I only did it once, not twice. So I don't think it's how that's supposed to work. Uh, uh... Yeah, I think three tunnel is fine. Oh, that does literally doesn't affect him. Okay, I, I didn't know it didn't actually affect him. I thought it still hit him, but hit him for one. So the more you know, the more you know. As they say, you learn as you play. A lot of these meta you run, but I don't really care. The amount of experience they give is so insignificant at this point in the game that I really don't care about them. I just, I just want to get them killed and then they're not. Ooh, what is this? So they, those three together do not have a pet power. That's interesting. You are dead. Next. If we can kill one or two, I'll be happy. If we can't, who cares? If I kill them both, meh. If I kill one, meh. That's how I feel right now about this. Meta slimes and not even vicious versions are so pointless that I'm just upset that they... I, I am confused. I have to admit, I am confused. Why did you make vicious versions of the metal slimes and the liquid metal slimes, but you did not make malicious versions of the metal slimes and the liquid metal slimes? It is odd. For me personally, I find it odd. I don't know why the game decide, designers decided that. They were like, okay, well, let's have... I think maybe the malicious ones would have to be so much stronger to make them better than the vicious ones. That the amount of experience the malicious ones would have to give would be broken. And would just be a simple way to abuse the game into giving you basically level 99 and 5 seconds flat. Because think about it. The vicious ones were giving so much experience already. And the malicious enemies so far are stronger and do give more experience. So to keep with that trend, they would clearly have to make the uh, malicious ones give more. Hello. Normal cure slime or malicious cure slime? Normal cure slime. Okay. So they'd have to make it give so much more experience that I think it would actually just break the game. So I think that is how they decided to balance it. Um, because you would just get some experience. But at the same time, I don't appreciate that because I kind of feel like... I kind of feel like I'm getting ripped off a little bit. What they could have done is they could have just... Oh, I've got all four. We can do like a big boy attack now. Yeah, check it out, guys. Oh my goodness. Disastrophe, Giga Burst, Electrolytes, Revamp, Shooting Stars, Buff by Vointa, Love Hurts, Hit Parade, The Fight Fantastic, The Frizz Cracker, Ring of Rack and Rain, Show Tactics. Dude, we got so many pet powers we can use now, it's insane. Easy busy. But I'm not gonna use any of them because I don't need to use any of them. No bad. Jade level up? Good, 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 good. So I'm starting to think uh, Veronica's level was based off my main character's level when she rejoined the party because Veronica is so much higher than anyone else in my party except for my main character that I'm pretty much sure that since she died and we lost her, the balancing was like, well, if we're going to give all your characters levels back, 
Obviously, Veronica would never got a chance to level, so she would be the lowest level. So to balance that, we're going to just make her the same level as the MC, which is me. Um, which is fine. I actually happen to like that like that. I think it's really good. I want to see what happens if I use, like, Giga Burst right now. What if I use Electro Lights now? Electro Lights. Because either we're going to get those AG, the 1, 5, Z, T things. Okay, these guys. Or we are going to get the alternative, which was... Dude, Magic Burst would be hilarious now. I'm not going to do it because it takes 700 mana, but I'm pretty sure we one-shot these, all these guys. I'm about 80% sure we one-shot all these guys. Oh, Vonic has actually now passed my main character on experience. Okay. I did not actually notice that until now. A Victory. It's Aegis's! It's Aegis! It's Aegis! The Aegis's are defeated. The great oh, I like that. I really like that. The fact that they would, they spot the Aegis out like that, with the numbers. Dude, that's cool. I like that a lot. I was hoping they would make the metal versions of these uh, Drakis spawn. I was kind of hoping for metal versions so that I could have the metal, uh, malicious metal Dracolites. It didn't happen though. All that happened is that Veronica just murdered everybody. That's 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 what actually happened, so. Damn Veronica, chill out, girl. Chill out. Melissa check that drop a seashell. Oh cute. This is a, a she a seashell, not a she shell. La, 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 la. This game is making me forget how to speak the English language. So this is the a silver door in the insular orientalist. We are of course gonna tick that off our beautiful booklet that I read. That I'm pretty much it was pointless now. <laughs> but it's good, it's fine. Here we go, we got a recipe called Circle of Life. Text to the side. Learns how to make life wings, skull wings. Okay. I don't want either of those, but you know, whatever. Sweet, so that is island number four. That's island number four done. So, so far so good. I think we're going at a decent rate. Um, at seven islands, I'm really tempted to just do islands again on this episode. Like I did with the Huntington Guide. But I'll see how it goes, because we still have to do London, Lulu, and Nordica. But what I can do is... I can do all the islands now, and then next episode, do Lona, Lulu, and Nordica. But you guys will know by the end of this episode what I chose to do for now. I'll we'll see you guys at the next island. And here we are on our way to island number five. To get to island number five, you need to go through the open sea north vortex of light, which will use Lorelei's harp, which we got from Michelle's chest after she died, by the way, timeline game. I don't understand, <laughs> but uh, Michelle died. Look, I love Michelle, and I'm very happy Michelle's alive again. Michelle was like my my OG waifu in this game. But, and there's a but here, guys, and I hate, oh my god, it's the most sexy man I've ever seen in my entire life. Master Commander. No wonder I look, listen to that name. Master Commander, baby. Mmm, yeah. I mean, that's just a sexy name. You know someone that's called Master Commander. It's gonna be all up in your grow. Money your butt around, dominating the way you wanted to be dominated. If you're into that, of course. Um, anyway, long story short, after making very really stupid, inappropriate sexual jokes, let's get back to what I was actually trying to say, and that's Michelle, guys. I love Michelle. Michelle's awesome. A gate of evolution, are you serious? Okay. Michelle's awesome. I love Michelle. She's an OG, OG waifu. Um, but. And there is a button, and I hate that there has to be a button, but there has to be a button. First of all, the island is right here, as you can see, in the middle, right in the middle of that little, almost, I want to say, lakey type area, but it's the ocean, um, which you need the vortex to get to. So, um, as much as I love Michelle, and I really, really do, and I don't want it to be anything that I want to be done stuff, I'm just saying, I don't care that the timeline is a little bit screwed, but Michelle died long before Morgan and Veronica, where we went back in time. We went back in time to Arborea. In, uh, when we were in Arborea, Michelle was already dead. I just want to point this out. So, the problem with the game... Uh, there's flyable areas here now. There were never flyable areas here. This is new. Guys, this is new. Relax. Don't freak out about it. It's new. It is new, baby. Let's go. You know me and my new content. When I get the new content, I get excited. And I forget to finish the story about Michelle. So, Michelle should be dead. Because we got the Lorelei's hop from Michelle. So, to get to Nordica. And you need to get to Nordica to be able to get the orbs. Which lets you get to the 
wall tree, which is to eventually get to Yggdrasil, which dies. So Michelle being alive doesn't fit the game's storyline. It also does not fit the game's timeline in any way, shape, or form. I'm going to choose to believe that due to a time paradox from my main character going back in time and never really being able to know the cause and effect of going back in time or changing time for that matter, that when I, when my main character decides to go back in time, he messed up a timeline or he went to a timeline where Michelle never died. And I'm going to I'm going to go with that because if I don't do it that I'll be annoyed by this for quite a while. Not not like I'm not like going to freak out about it. It's just you know I like consistency. I don't mind a little bit of inconsistency, but in general I like a lot of consistency. So when the game makes the mistake of losing consistency like this, I get a tiny bit um, aggressive towards it. I'm not, not going to make a big like scene about it. Which I'm doing right now, I guess. But, you know, I'm, I'm, what I mean is, it's like, okay, it's done. I'm over it now. I'm going to move on. But I'm so happy Michelle's alive at the same time that I'm like, it's chill. It's chill, guys. You you do whatever story bullshit you need to do because Michelle's alive. Grandmaster Pang seems to be alive. Um, the priestess from Hoto is guaranteed alive. So, in general, you know, this is better for me because everybody I wanted to not die is not dead so <laughs> but some people might be asking what the fuck are you complaining about you got exactly what you asked for you said why were all the women killed and you were upset about it and now the game is like okay fine we unkilled all the women and now you're upset that all the women are unkilled someone could definitely argue that fact and i could not even argue with them i would have to just agree because it's the truth and uh you know maybe i'm contradicting myself a little bit too much here you know but at the same time that is why we play games. We each play games for our own reason. My reasoning for playing games, of course, is that I like to look for the the more deeper meaning behind a game. You know, what is the storyline? What is the um, nitty-gritty details? And how consistent is it? Because I love me some consistency, like a lot. I'm a, I'm a creature of habit. I always get told by people close to me that I don't like change. I like everything to stay the same. And while that is true in certain cases, um, for instance, like li my personal life and, and like things I like and I don't and I dislike, I, I really believe that I, I don't like things change. But with lots of things I do like. I like the evolving technology. I like um, chunk of oracalcum for free. For free. I didn't even have to go to the battlegrounds to get a chunk of oracalcum. Excuse me, game. Okay, I mean. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna say thank you, and I'm gonna take it, but at the same time, that is uh, very interesting, because that opens up a, a very large path of possibilities that I did not have before. A, there's a quest line that a guy wants Orikalkum in Hoto. He wants to make the ultimate weapon, I think, is, if I remember correctly what it said. Uh, B, this is the weirdest rock I've ever seen in my whole life. Um, C, wait. Oh, that's that. I was gonna say there's a sparkly tree that does not register on the map. What the hell, game? And then I saw that. Never mind, it registers on the map. So, and see, you know, can I make another sort of light? Can I go to the volcano and make a sort of light? You know, I'm just saying, it's definitely possible. I have the hammer for it. Wormwood. Com Commul what? Communilimbo. Excuse me, game. Cannot be bought, guys. This cannot be bought. This means this item is one of the rarest items in the game. It is has a high rarity level that I have never seen. And I got it. Dude, I love this. I absolutely love this. I 100% love new content. Sneakily sneak into a game in a, in, a, in a smooth way that doesn't like break the consistency of the game. And all that happened... I went back in time a little bit, which has caused a few problems, <laughs> as I've mentioned many times. But three files of sainted soma. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So let's go over here now. This is our last destination, flying up here and exploring the entirety of this area. Just gonna look for any uh, chests, sparklies, or mods. I don't think there will be either, but I'll keep it in mind. It almost looks like you like um, 
climbing. Uh, it almost looks like it's climbable, you know? It's like a perfect stairway. Do you guys see this? It's like a perfect stairway, which kind of makes sense because if it was a hiking trail or something, it would be a perfect stairway. So I guess it makes sense, but obviously it's not a hiking trail. Do -do 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 -do. There's the path over there, but I want to go to the top, baby. I want to go to the top, baby. You knew I was going to the top the second we got here. Shabby stone. Sh finds a shabby old stone. There's an inscription carved into it. It's rather hard to read, but if he squints, he can just about make it out. This is truly one of the most magnificent, spectacular, and indeed uttering gobsmacking views I've seen in my long career as a connoisseur of splendid scenery. What use is a beautiful view when one is all alone? I have realized that if a man has his love beside him, even the most paltry view will be filled with beauty. In conclusion, I must find a wife. Signed, Vincenzo Turismo. You find the description left by the legendary scenery seeker. Head back to Cobblestone Tour and tell Hugo what it says. Dude, we just finished the side quest by accident. Three Agates Evolution. He says the most beautiful scenery has ever seen. It's literally just water, dude. It's 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 literally just water, dude. I don't maybe it's this side? No, no it's not this side. Dude, it's literally water. What the hell? How is this the greatest scenery you've ever seen? I cannot agree with you on that. A Technicolor Dream Class. What is with these Technicolor Dream Class? Do they keep giving me Technicolor Dream Class? And they're really bad. <laughs> Sweet. So we got all the sparkly spots here. We got all the chests here as far as I can tell. I hope I'm not missing a chest that's like on a ledge somewhere like behind one of these freaking mountain walls or something because that would be very saddening for me and I would be very upset. But uh, let's hope that is not the case, guys. That's the only, only thing we can do. Let's just hope there isn't a chest on one of these. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna search this area like thoroughly this way by flying around the whole all the months like this and looking and um, I will edit up or I will speed up depending on what we find. For now I'll see you guys soon after I've thoroughly explored all of these mountain hills and tops to make sure I haven't missed any hidden chests of salt. Okay, so I personally feel I have not missed anything on this island, so we'll be heading on to island number six. I'll see you guys all there. Just gonna go ahead to a campsite and quickly rest up so it's daytime, and I'll meet you all at island number six. And here we are at island number six, the first island you would usually find, but the one I always like to keep for last when I do the island explorations. So this is item number six. Um, I don't think there's anything here of specific import, but uh, we're definitely going to be getting it, guys. Uh, checking out, killing anything up here, you know, just a normal quick, quick check of item number six before we head on to item number seven, which is actually going to be the end of this episode. I've decided that even though it's not the longest of episodes, I'm going to rather choose today to keep it nice and short and clean. Um, with just the islands, and we'll do Lone Lulu and Nordic together because Lone Lulu is kind of like an awkward. What the fuck's happening over there? Lone Lulu is like a kind of an awkward, like little town because you don't get there via anything in the game. And if you think about it, Nordic is kind of the same. You know, both areas are attainable by the boat, and both areas are kind of like a situation of. You need to go there because nothing in the game tells you to go there, you know? I feel like it's this faction versus that faction. And I feel like I'm interfering. I feel like they were going to fight or something. I'm very confused right now. What I know is I'll murder, if I murder everybody, then it will be equal, right? Is that how that works? Oh, I just hit my mic very hard. I apologize about that. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Did I miss the other dude? Excuse me. Veronica, I don't ever miss. Please prove that I never miss. Thank you, Veronica. What I'm saying is that Jay took one shot to kill one guy. Lol. I G did. Okay, so it looks like they. It almost feels like they were going. It was two factions, like the one hunter with his group going up against the other hunter in his group. It was kind of cool. I really, I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, they're all dying. So that's part of the game. Someone had to die and it wasn't going to be me. That's what I'm saying. Uh, is the old... Oh, he's still here. Okay. Kaboom now. I don't know why the old guy's still alive. I can tell you he's not alive anymore. That much I can tell you right now, guys. Hello, old man. The old men don't run. The other guys run. So technically this side is stronger. 
Grey, a group of Grey Gordons appears. Oh, these are normal. The other one was a malicious Grey Gordon. That's why he was stronger, I'm assuming. And these are just normal Grey Gordons, so they're much weaker. Much, much weaker. Okay. So, so far, oops, 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 oops. So far, so good. Um, as always, nothing, nothing too special happening here. No new enemy types at all. Uh, except for that Grey Gordon, maybe. I guess you could say it was a new enemy type. I don't know if those malicious, uh, hunter guys were a new enemy type, but... Yeah, I feel like I interfered in some kind of battle that was about to go down. I feel a little bit bad now, I'm not gonna lie to you. You know, who am I to interfere in their battle? They're trying to have a macho one-on-one, man-on-man, mano-on-mano, -mano, group versus group, streak fighting battle, and I'm sure I can just kill them all. Man, you make me feel bad, game. Make me feel game. Feel bad. Anyway, without further ado, that's gonna be the end of the Insular Australiats. Uh, I wonder if it's shaped like Australia. No, it's definitely not shaped like Australia. Uh, they're back! They're going to war again, guys. Just ne be, it's a never ending fight. I'm just gonna let them do their thing. Will I head on out to go to. So there's houses here at some point. Will I head on out to island number seven? The last island, Island Incognita, because it's a secret island that doesn't count for any of the quest line stuff so far. Without further ado, I'll see you at the next island. Where we finish off this episode. And here we have island number seven, the Insula Incognita. So this is the final island, island number seven, but there's no targets here. There are no like quest lines here. There's no huts or anything to rest here or such and such or people to speak to. Uh, no magic doors. There is a silver door though, but no magic doors. So this island is kind of like incognito, right? It's unknown. It's the unknown seventh island, if you will. But the island that I'm going to be exploring unless in getting that final silver door and completing the Act three islands again. <laughs> this is the third islands episode we have. We have islands, which is just me when I found the islands. Then we have islands 100%, where I 100% all the islands. And now we've got Act three islands, where <laughs> we got all the islands in Act three. So there's, only, there's been a few island episodes, guys. That's all I'm going to tell you. Some malicious cyclops appear. So uh, we, yeah, I've been. I, I've got my fair share of islands behind my back. I know what I'm doing when it comes down to islands, but I, uh, as I mentioned many times, I'm just tiny bit concerned about the uh, quality of content when you are releasing the same area multiple times. But I mean, technically speaking, although we are releasing all the areas multiple times, if you think about it, all three are different because the first time we came here, we fought normal Cyclops and Trolls. The second time we came here, we fought vicious Cyclops and Trolls. And now the third time we are coming here, we are fighting malicious cyclones again. and trolls. So if you think about it in that sense of the word, it's definitely a different location. <laughs> you know, because it's not the same. <laughs> that's how I like to live it. Whether that is uh, true or not, you know, that's up for you to decide. But I'm going to go for it because it will make me feel slightly less bad that we are here for a third time. And we're doing all the islands for a third time. So, oh man, this game. I, I really enjoy it, but a lot of backtracking involved, guys. But that's a JRPG for you if you guys play it. And if you're watching this, you love JRPGs. And if you love JRPGs, you know what it's about. You understand. You're like, I get you, brother. I don't, I don't, you didn't have to explain yourself to me. We understand. We, too, have many, many a times had to backtrack to areas where they already complete three to four times to get items on the list. Or to beat bosses, or to do side quests, etc, etc. So, you know, I, I know that... Everyone watching this at least has experienced this and understands this too because they're like, it's fine, it's fine. We got to do it too, so I don't feel too bad. I don't feel too bad. I'm gonna hit him here with uh, Veronica. If it killed it, it didn't. If it did, it didn't. So I wanted the MP back, and that's why I went for that attack. A malicious brownie drops a chest. It receives a night stick. Okay. Hello, night stick. Welcome to the party. I don't think we've ever had a nice thing before. That's a lot of brownies, guys. Oh man, I, oh man, I could go for some brownies right about now, guys. Where are the brownies at? Where are the brownies at? No one ever brings me brownies, man. Let's heat dude. things up. Oh, dude, they're all done, dude. They're all dead as if. Veronica just burnt the brownies. Don't burn the brownies. That's horrible. You can't burn brownies. There's nothing worse than burning a brownie, man. We still only get copper and silver. Oh, yeah, that just shows how 
Uh, bad the item drops in this area, actually. I don't need to buy more bunnies, let's be honest with each other. I will climb up here, though, even though I don't need to climb up here. I'll do it anyway, just to check. Just to double check, guys. Always be safe instead of sorry. Ba -ba -bum. Boom. But you know, you don't come up here, they change something, there's suddenly something up here, you don't get it. You go into the game, you're like, I don't understand why I can't get this thing. And then boom, bam, boom, you gotta come back and you find a letter and you're like, oh, that's why. And then, and it's too late, guys. Then it's too late. Then you just have to accept and move on. Accept and move on. So these stout trolls are tanky as if. It's so tanky. They are in love with Veronica, though. I mean, with Jade, though. Not Veronica. That would be weird. They're in love with Jade. That's a good thing. What I wanted to say is that Veronica's gonna kill them both, so I'm not too worried. As soon as Veronica gets a turn, I know she'll take care of business, like she does. What is this noise? Like, it, it, I always feel like there's a guy who's just literally riding up and down this road all day already, we making so again. much unnecessary noise, and it's so frustrating. Oh yeah, I need to fight more trolls. We fought the trolls, it's fine. I was only fighting to see if they spawn different enemies, because we only fought uh, malicious Cyclops, but there are two types of Cyclops you can usually fight here, so. Yeah, that video, let's go. Use the ultimate key to open the door to Insula Incognito. Which means there's only six silver doors left in the game, guys. Only six silver doors left in the game. And we get a recipe called Gifts from the Goddess. Has a look inside. Learns how to make sacred circlets, sacred rain, raiments. Raiments? Dude, I don't know what that word is. Dude, that's a confusing word, dude. That is a confusing word. Now, I did see that sparkly, don't worry. I did see it. I'll go back for it. We're gonna get that sparkly, guys. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. As I've mentioned at nauseum, I have an addiction. I've got a whole addiction that I cannot sate. No matter how much sparkly sparkly I do. I just need more sparkly, man. Even more. Give me the sparkly. So in the next episode, we will be doing Lona Lulu and Nautica. I wanted to do that in this episode, but I, even though this episode is going to be, should be a little bit shorter, should be slightly shorter. No, did you kill Veronica? I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Um, I think adding Lona Lulu and Nautica would in undoubtedly make this, uh, this episode just completely too long. Uh, completely too long. We go to like an hour and a half or something. If it's at the moment, it's probably on like an hour. If I had to guess, um, right now as I'm speaking. Uh, by the time we finish, as soon as I go downstairs and fight that last um, malicious Cyclops, because I really think there's a second Cyclops form. There's a light blue form and a dark blue form. I don't think I fought the light blue form, or I didn't fight the dark blue form. One of them. So I do want to fight the malicious Cyclops quickly, just one last time, and then after that we're done. Then after that we're done. We are going to uh, end this episode here, and I'm going to meet you all in the next episode, where we will be in Lona Lulu. And, um, of course, I'm very excited to be in Lona Lulu, because there's a Michelle side quest now. Michelle's alive, guys. She's back, and she's alive, and I want to, I want to complete her side quest. So this looks like the same Cyclops, Manisha Cyclops. Yes, so I will uh, skip this. Well, okay, so that, that wasn't was the... That wasn't a different type of Cyclops. Let's check this one quickly. Malicious Cyclops. If it is, we will skip it. There are two of them. They look the same shade, though. They're both Malicious Cyclops. Okay, so we'll skip this too. Okay, and with that last Cyclops kill, we'll make our way to the boat. That's going to be the end of this episode. I will meet you all in the next episode in Lonolulu. I'm just going to drive there on the boat, relax a little bit. Not too much of a rush. I'm just chilling anyway. Getting some recording done on a nice Sunday afternoon. Um, so I will meet you all in Lono Lulu in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to hit that like button. It helps me a lot. This is my bro Davey. He's my boy. Um, he's a badass, apparently. Uh, there's like myths about him. Uh, in Lono Lulu, I think specifically is where the myth originated from. Or where I read the myth for the first time, the rumor for the first time. Of this uh, monster on the seas who wears a pink helmet or something like that. I can't remember the exact story. For now though, thank you all very much for watching this episode of Dragon Quest 11 Act 3. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe! And do all those other things that you want to do. I'll see you on the next episode where we go to London Nordica for the third time. Thanks for watching.
Yeah, zong. <laughs>